In this tutorial of iDraw for the iPad, I'm going to show you how to use the pen tool to create a beautiful rotating pattern. I'm going to start out by grabbing the pen tool on the left side. As you can see, I've already created a document that has a grid as well as lines showing me 45, degrees, 45 degree angles. These are going to be very helpful later on. I'm going to go ahead and grab the pen tool. Then I'm going to select what color I want my line to be by clicking on the little donut on the left side. Pick whatever color you want. Next, I'm going to get rid of the interior color because I am not creating a shape. I am creating a line. Click and then drag this slider all the way to the left until you see a gray area up here which shows you that there is no color inside your shape. The pen tool works by creating what's called anchor points or nodes. I'm going to go over to my layers first though and I'm going to create a blank layer. I'm going to go ahead and create a single point at the center. Then I'm going to go somewhere else and I'm going to click and drag my finger at the same time. So click and drag. As I'm dragging these handles show up and as I tilt them it changes how my curves look. Now that I have this first curve, I'm going to tap somewhere else and I'm going to drag my finger and I'm going to let go. I'm going to go ahead and add another point. And I'm going to keep my curve relatively simple. If I don't like how it looks, I can edit it by going over to my second arrow and tapping on any one of these nodes and altering how it looks by dragging my finger. Now that I have a curve that I'm happy with, I'm going to change the outline of my curve by clicking on the arrow tool and then going over to the letter I on the top right. Under here, I have the ability to change the brush that is being used to outline my shape. First, I'm going to scoot my shape out of the way just a little bit. Now I'm going to go over to brush and I have several preloaded options. I'm going to go ahead and click on one of those and see if I like it. I can also create my own brush by clicking on these little blue circles with my finger and dragging them inward or outward. And I'm trying to create areas of thinness and of thickness and I'm rotating my finger as I'm doing this. And I like how that looks. So I'm going to go ahead and pinch outward so I can see my document. Now I'm going to create a pattern by rotating this shape over and over all the way around. I'm going to select my object, then I'm going to click my rotation tool on the left side. Then I'm going to select how many degrees I want to rotate by. The smaller the number, the greater the number of rotations. I'm going to put 45 degrees, which will mean that my shape will hit each one of my red lines once. Before I begin rotating, I have to move my center of rotation to the center of my document in order to create a rotating pattern. I'm going to go ahead and tap at the center of my document once and that will move my crosshairs to the center. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit copy and this will make a copy of my shape all the way around. Now that I have created a copy of this, I am going to go over to my layers and as you can see, I have multiple copies of that shape. I'm going to turn all of these shapes into a single shape so that it's easier to edit it. I'm going to go ahead and grab my arrow tool and select all of my shapes by dragging my finger. Then I am going to click on the combine menu and I'm going to go to the second choice which is combine and I'm going to click where it says make compound path. Now instead of having a lot of shapes, I only have a single shape in my layer. I'm going to take this shape and copy it. I'm going to go over to my little paper clip on the top left and I'm going to click copy. Then I'm going to select paste in place. I have now made a copy of this object even though it's not visible. If I go over to my layers, you can see that I have two copies of it. I'm going to take that second copy and make a mirror image. 
So I'm gonna go over to my ruler and I'm gonna click on these two little arrows on the bottom left. As you can see, I have now created a really beautiful pattern. Now that I have that second pattern selected, I am able to change the color of it or do whatever I want to it. By using the pen tool, I was able to create an interesting pattern. Last but not least, please remember that you are able to change the opacity of any one of your layers. If I go over to my layers, at the bottom, you will see where it says normal and there's a slider. I can change the opacity of this particular pattern. That way, if I'm using it in conjunction with other layers, it can be an accent as opposed to a dominating pattern. This concludes my tutorial.